Basic electronics engineering is a very vital subject for the student who are pursuing their graduation in engineering basically from the stream of electrical and electronics engineering. Now today we will discuss an experiment from this subject. Now in this experiment we are trying to measure the time period, amplitude and uh, the frequency of an unknown signal with the help of function generator and the DSO. Now the function uh, in the sample sinusoidal wave, the peak to peak amplitude, uh, time period and the frequency. These are the three basic characteristics of any waveform. Now we are trying to measure this with the help of this experiment. Now function generator, first of all function generator is a device which is used to generate the different type of electrical waveform like sine, ramp, triangular etc. with a wide range of frequencies available. Now these waveform generated from function generator captured by digital storage oscilloscope and display the uh, display it is actually a display device which display the waveform generated from function generator and in this experiment we are trying to measure the three important characteristics that means time period frequency and the amplitude with the help of this digital storage oscilloscope and we will next show how this can be achieved the time period of different waveform with the help of DSO and function generator. Now you can see that this is the function generator. The function of this function generator is to generate different type of waveforms and you can see that it is sine wave flashing here. So you can see in the display device it is also showing the sine wave. Now you can if you change the this function switch to square wave it is square wave. If you change it is triangular this is triangular this is ramp this is pulse and this is TTL logic. So with the help of this function switch we can change the different type of waveform that is generated by this function generator. Now, the, now this is the DSO, digital storage oscilloscope, it is the digital version of the uh, analog storage oscilloscope. Now in this uh, digital storage oscilloscope, the advantage of this is that it can uh, show different type of characteristics of the waveform in the screen also. You don't have to measure manually the different characteristics of the waveform. Now suppose here we are uh, displaying or demonstrating only the sine wave characteristics. Okay. Now this is your sine wave and we are going to measure the amplitude, frequency and uh, time period of this sine wave. Now this is the sine wave and in this experiment with the help of this digital storage oscilloscope we are going to measure the amplitude, frequency and the time period of this waveform. Now with the help of this measure switch we are going to measure all these three characteristics of the waveform. Now if we first press the, this is uh, okay. Now if we press the measure switch this will show next if you now this is voltage time. Suppose we press this voltage. Now this is channel 1. It is showing channel 1. Now with the help of this switch we are going to measure the peak to peak amplitude of this voltage. For that purpose we want to select this V peak to peak. And after selecting the V peak to peak you can see that this is showing 4.60 volt. So this is this to this peak to this peak. The voltage of this waveform peak to peak voltage is 4.60 volt. Next we want to measure the time period and the frequency of this waveform. So again press measure and this you can go to time and here you can see this is the frequency and whenever we are generated this frequency from the function generator you can see that this is the frequency of the function generator of the generated frequency and it is exactly showing the same frequency here. So we are measuring the same frequency that is being generated from the function generator. Next we want to measure the time period of this waveform. For that purpose we want to select the period. Okay, so sorry. This is the period. After selecting the period, you can see that the period of this waveform is time period of this waveform is 125.6 microsecond. And if you want to inverse this, you will get the same frequency 7.96 kilohertz. Okay, thank you.